Hi guys, welcome to my second tutorial and this is focus on vertex color. So let's start by deleting hitting X on our keyboard. Uh, oops, X delete, shift A and we add a UV sphere. What we do now uh, uh, we are going to add two materials to material because what we want to do is to color uh, the upper part of the sphere uh, uh, which is um, which is uh, the upper part of the sphere which is green okay and we select uh, we set the specularity 0.1 okay this is not uh, is not important but i i prefer to to have a specularity very low. Also in this case I choose uh, a, nice, a nice orange and I lower the specularity intensity to 0.1. I call the, so we call the lower part of the sphere upper and the lower part lower. Okay so now we, we assign this vertex, we select transparency, press P and we select the upper region and assign. Now we have to assign to the lower part which vertex belongs to, belong to, so uh, control I and assign. So now we have our sphere with two different colors but there is problem there is a problem because I don't want this net transition I want a smooth transition uh, otherwise uh, or I want uh, what I want is uh, a gradient color so what I do is shift a UV sphere um, grab um, X axis smooth and we uh, now uh, with this other uh, sphere I want to use the uh, vertex colors what I do what I do is to add a materials uh, two materials also uh, in this case the first I call upper uh, the first I call uh, just call in different uh, in different way just one one and the lower part of the sphere I call two okay so one for us will, will be the green, set the specularity to 0.1, instead two uh, will be uh, orange, will be orange and set the specularity to 0.1. Okay, now assign the vertexes. So uh, uh, this time uh, B on our keyboard and the lower part I make the lower part larger than the previous one after we'll see why in, uh, click assign control I and uh, select one and click assign okay so we have uh, this other sphere now uh, for us the vertex color region uh, 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 I choose will be the number 2 okay so uh, press A to deselect all uh, uh, evidence 2 and select so this region will be our vertex color region and we have so in vertex color we have this region and we name with the same we name it with the same name you, we used before too okay we denote the lower part of the sphere so now we switch to uh, now we switch to uh, vertex paint we select uh, this option to see uh, the faces okay so now i'm going to paint on the uh, lower part with the orange okay we paint with the orange we increase the radius okay Control one to paint the back. Okay, and uh, 
now uh, but I want uh, 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 a smooth transition so here I select green color and I decrease the radius okay and this way for the front and for the back okay now uh, uh, now we have uh, created in our vertex color a smooth transition uh, it's really important to understand that the upper part is uh, for us is not a vertex color region and the, the, the color of this region is uh, uh, is important uh, is selected in this area so this part will be green and uh, as we select here our color and this part this the lower part of this sphere uh, we select uh, by using vertex paint tool uh, vertex paint so tool so this will will not be the color of the lower part but the lower part will uh, will respect the vertex paint uh, so now wh when we render we when we render we have uh, this time we have to select in color material material we have to select vertex color paint check this option and now uh, to um, to render we have to check our camera press zero okay we don't like this uh, this view so uh, hit seven uh, switch to obje uh, object mode take the camera grab uh, rotate 45 by hi hitting R on our keyboard and pressing for five on our numpad uh, press okay oops rotate 45 now we press 3 uh, just set we set our camera uh, let's see so the lights shift the grab uh, let's see zero okay and let's render F12. Let's render, and what we see, oh, it's uh, uh, what we see is the difference between on the left. Uh, now on the left side we have uh, uh, the sphere um, where we didn't use vertex colors, and on the right side we have the sphere using uh, using vertex color. So, mm, and in this case, uh, okay, this shadow is uh, really ugly, but we we don't care. Uh, but what what we uh, uh, see is that there is a smooth transition between green and the orange. And not a net transfi transition. Okay. Uh, also, so we we can uh, do better by uh, choosing the right green tonality of the upper side for uh, for to for the center part. Uh, so, but uh, we have again the main uh, the main goal. The main goal is to to show how vertex colors work. Okay. So I hope this uh, has been uh, interesting for you and useful uh, will be. Okay, thanks a lot.